What happens to your body when you ride a bike for 30 minutes every day? Have you ever wondered what it would be like to feel more energetic, happy and healthy in your own body? What would you do if you had more energy to carry out your daily activities, work better, take care of the house, kids or grandkids? Cycling might be the answer for you! Unlike other physical activities, riding a bike is an accessible form of exercise that doesn't require much time or money. All you need is a bike and a little willingness to get started. In this video, I will talk about the 10 benefits that daily cycling will bring to your health. Cycling is beneficial for people of all ages. And look, I want you, by the end of this video, to feel like grabbing your bike and going for a ride in the park. Because cycling is much more than just exercise. It's the chance to feel the wind on your face, the freedom of being outdoors, connecting with nature, and experiencing the thrill of venturing into new paths and territories. Starting to cycle could be one of the best decisions you've ever made, bringing advantages for your physical health, but also your mental health, increasing happiness, self-esteem, and even improving your relationships with others, and much more. Are you ready? Let's get started. Benefit 10. It can make you feel younger, inside and out. A study from King's College London compared over 2,400 identical twins and found that those who rode their bikes for 45-minute rides three times a week were physically nine years younger than their non-exercising siblings. Think about it. Nine years of difference in people with the same DNA. This is likely due to the increase in telomeres that physical exercise brings, which I already mentioned in my walking video. When you do brisk walking, that fast-paced walk, it also makes you look younger. But cycling doesn't just make you look younger on the outside. In another study with cyclists aged 55 to 79, men who exercised regularly had higher testosterone levels, meaning they didn't experience andropause as well as a much younger immune system. The thymus, an organ that produces defense cells, the T-cells, typically starts shrinking and producing fewer of these cells from the age of 20. These cyclists had thymuses that produced T-cells similar to those of young people. So, if you want to stay young, both internally and externally, start cycling regularly. Every little pedal counts toward achieving a healthier life. Start slow and gradually increase. Benefit 9. Improves posture and coordination. As we age, we start experiencing sensory changes. Our eyes don't work as well, our ears, and proprioception, the ability to perceive the position of our body. This can make a person become more withdrawn, worsening their posture and coordination. When you ride a bike, you return to a more upright and stable posture. This posture not only improves your appearance, but also conveys a sense of presence and self-confidence because it strengthens several stabilizing muscle groups, such as the legs, abs, and back. You regain body awareness because cycling requires coordination between arms, torso, head, and legs. In addition, the increased sensory stimuli, vision, proprioception, balance, keep you constantly challenged. So, instead of deteriorating, you'll improve. Benefit 8. Reduces your risk of diabetes. Research conducted in Finland revealed that people who cycle for more than 30 minutes a day have a 40% lower risk of developing diabetes. That's incredible! Imagine significantly reducing your chances of becoming diabetic, avoiding all its complications, the use of medications, and even insulin. This was supported by a 2016 study of Danish adults that reached the same conclusions, and also by 2019 research, which confirmed that a regular cycling routine is associated with lower rates of diabetes. Cycling regularly can also improve your life if you already have type 2 diabetes. In 2021, a study published in the journal JAMA showed that cycling reduces mortality rates from diabetes by up to 24%. And if you maintain the routine for five years or more, this reduction increases to 35%. 
So, think about the long-term benefits of cycling. A healthier body, lower diabetes risk, greater muscular endurance, and an overall sense of well-being. Benefit 7. Can improve your bones. When you think about preventing osteopenia and osteoporosis, you typically think of high-impact activities like jumping, running, and weightlifting. Strong bones are an important part of healthy aging. But if you prefer cycling, know that trail riding and mountain biking can create enough impact with the ground that it can benefit your bones. Additionally, cycling requires upper body muscle engagement for stability, and the combination of these factors can improve overall bone structure. Benefit 6. Metabolic Flexibility For Inigo San Millan, Professor of Medicine at the University of Colorado, healthy mitochondria are the key to your athletic performance, but also, and most importantly, to your metabolism. He discovered that cyclists spend about 80% of their time in training zone 2. Normally, we have five zones, from the lightest, zone 1, to the strongest, zone 5. Zone 2 is the pace at which you can hold a conversation, but the conversation becomes a bit difficult. You can speak full sentences, but just barely. And see, this zone 2 is easy to do, even for sedentary people. Why is this zone 2 important? Because it plays a crucial role in preventing chronic diseases, improving the efficiency of our mitochondria. Mitochondria are like the engines of our cells. In zone 2, most of the work is done by our slow twitch muscle fibers, which are full of mitochondria, making them efficient for a slower but longer lasting pace, as happens when you ride a bike. This zone 2 is the maximum level of effort we can do without accumulating lactate, avoiding that muscle pain. Individuals with metabolic syndrome have mitochondria that rely almost exclusively on glucose as a fuel source. They become inflexible, and even when exercising, the mitochondria can't burn fat. However, those who exercise primarily in zone 2 make their mitochondria flexible, like a flex fuel car, capable of burning fat. In fact, they burn more fat than glucose, returning to metabolic flexibility. And it's also in the mitochondria where you'll find the reason why when you exercise regularly, you have more energy and disposition to face the day-to-day. -day. So, get cycling. Benefit 5. Reduces your risk of dementia. If you're afraid of losing your memory or have been forgetting things lately, listen up. I mentioned in the video about dementia symptoms that our muscle strength, especially grip strength, is linked to cognitive decline. The weaker you are, the higher your risk. But do your leg power, the muscle strength in your thighs and calves, also count? A study with twins looked into this. 324 female twins were followed for 12 years and the result was impressive. The stronger your legs, the lower your risk of cognitive decline in 10 years and the greater the grey matter in the brain. Cycling is excellent for strengthening the muscles in your legs, thighs and calves. Whether you're cycling in the park, commuting to work or on a stationary bike, the resistance from using higher gears or even climbing hills causes small muscle tears, which, when healed, leave the muscles even stronger. And because you're immersed in the scenery and feeling the freedom of being outdoors, you don't even realize that you're gaining so many benefits for both your muscles and your brain. The increase in grey matter has a scientific explanation. When you exercise, your body produces BDNF, brain-derived neurotrophic factor, which helps grow neurons and synapses. The brain becomes more robust, reducing the risk of memory loss. So, without a doubt, Biking is an option for those who find being stuck in a gym a boring routine. Just being outdoors and getting a little sunshine already feels invigorating. Benefit 4. Increases physical endurance. Cycling is one of the most effective ways to gradually and sustainably improve physical endurance. When you cycle regularly, your cardiovascular system becomes more efficient increasing lung capacity and improving blood circulation. This means that over time, your body adapts to the effort, allowing you to perform physical activities for longer periods without feeling excessive fatigue. 
This improvement in physical endurance isn't limited to sports performance, but also extends to everyday activities. Simple tasks like climbing stairs, carrying groceries or walking long distances become easier as your aerobic capacity increases. Additionally, the boost in physical endurance is also associated with reduced mental fatigue, providing greater clarity and focus in daily tasks. Since cycling is a low-impact activity, it's easier for beginners or people not used to intense exercise to start practicing it without putting too much strain on their joints and muscles. With continuous practice, the body develops more energy and stamina, helping maintain an active and healthy lifestyle over the years. Benefit 3. Low Impact on Your Joints As I mentioned, cycling is a low-impact exercise. When you cycle, you distribute the load across the lower limb joints, such as the knees, ankles, and hips. This means that no single joint is overloaded with the body's weight. Additionally, when you pedal, you perform smooth and controlled cyclic movements without abrupt or sudden impacts. This helps minimize joint wear and tear and reduces the risk of injury. And when cycling, your joints don't suffer the direct impact that occurs in activities like running or jumping. The weight of your body is supported by the bike seat, reducing stress on the joints. That's why cycling causes less strain and fewer injuries than most other forms of exercise. It improves joint mobility and muscle flexibility. Benefit 2. Helps with balance and fall prevention. Regular cycling can play a key role in improving balance, especially for older people. As we age, balance tends to naturally deteriorate, increasing the risk of falls and fractures which can have serious consequences for health. However, cycling helps maintain and even improve motor coordination and body control, essential factors in preventing accidents. When cycling, the body is constantly challenged to maintain balance, coordinating movements between the legs, arms and torso. This process activates stabilizing muscles, such as the abdomen and back, strengthening them to contribute to a firmer and more stable posture. Additionally, cycling works on proprioception, the body's ability to perceive its position in space, which helps avoid abrupt or unstable movements. Another benefit is that cycling can be adapted to different skill levels, allowing people with less balance or strength to start safely, using stationary bikes or with support. In this way, cycling is an excellent way to improve balance and reduce the risk of falls, promoting more safety and confidence in daily activities. Benefit 1. Weight loss. Does cycling burn a lot of calories? Yes. And the best part is that while cycling, you hardly notice the effort because you're immersed in the landscape and enjoying the freedom of being outdoors. A person weighing 81 kilograms can burn about 650 calories in an hour of moderate cycling. If you do this six times a week for a year, you'll burn more than 200,000 calories, which equals nearly 26 kilograms of body fat. But if your life is busy and you don't have time, cycling for 30 minutes a day, every day, can burn more than 100,000 calories in a year resulting in almost 14 kilograms of weight loss. And there's a study that showed that people who swapped their car for a bike to commute to work lost seven kilograms over the course of the year just by cycling for 30 minutes back and forth. So, if you're looking to lose weight and burn fat, there you go, get cycling. Benefit, zero, mental health. Cycling can be a great option for improving mental health and reducing conditions such as depression, stress, and anxiety. This happens thanks to the effects of exercise itself and also the pleasure that cycling provides. In other words, the runner's high, which is the feeling of lightness mixed with euphoria and excitement, isn't just for runners. This happens because of an endocannabinoid called anandamide, which is elevated in runners and cyclists. Have you ever wondered why cyclists seem so happy? That's why. Researchers studied the effect of cycling on mental health and found that cycling improves mood, well-being, 
and concentration ability. Additionally, cycling increases dopamine in your brain, which helps improve your mood and energy levels. And you don't need to cycle for hours to feel the benefits. Just 30 minutes to an hour a day can improve your mood and mental health. Exercising outdoors only enhances these effects. Cycling regularly can make you feel more confident and satisfied with life. It's no wonder that Nordic countries and the Netherlands, where cycling to work is the norm and not the exception, often rank among the happiest in the world. Benefit negative one, promote socialization. In addition to physical benefits, cycling can be a powerful tool for socialization, helping to create meaningful connections and strengthen social bonds. Joining cycling groups or simply riding with friends or family offers an excellent opportunity for social interactions, which is vital for emotional and mental well-being. Studies show that maintaining healthy relationships is as important to health as exercising regularly. The outdoor environment and the pleasant pace of a bike ride encourage conversations, the exchange of experiences and the strengthening of friendships. Additionally, Many cycling groups organize rides, events, or even competitions, creating a sense of community and belonging. For people who may feel isolated or are looking for a way to reconnect socially, cycling is a fun and healthy way to make new friends. Socializing during cycling also has a positive impact on mental health, combating feelings of loneliness and promoting a sense of well-being. At the same time, Group activities encourage continued practice as social commitments increase motivation to maintain a regular exercise routine. Benefit negative two, improves cardiovascular and lung health. Cycling regularly stimulates and improves the functioning of the heart, lungs and blood circulation, reducing the risk of cardiovascular diseases. In addition to strengthening the heart muscles, it lowers resting heart rate, blood pressure, and cholesterol and triglyceride levels in the body. Studies also show that people who cycle to work are exposed to two to three times less pollution than those who use cars, which improves lung function. A 2015 study published in the journal Breathe confirmed that cycling can promote better lung function for those with lung problems, such as COPD, chronic obstructive pulmonary disease. So, how about taking a few rides to keep your lungs and heart in shape? Don't forget to subscribe to the channel. I wish you great health, wealth and happiness. See you in the next video.